Ukraine's advance near Eurozane village on Eastern Front, Russians suffer supply disruptions. After Russian troops were forced out of the outer edge of the Staro Mayorsk village with intense artillery fire, Ukrainians immediately got a toehold and started clearing the houses. After establishing positions, Ukrainians started applying pressure on the Russians in the southern part of the village, according to the Euro Maiden Press media outlet. The main goal was to wait until the second group conducted a flank attack from the hills and left Russians with only two options, retreat or get cut off from the rest. In the meantime, a tough tank battle took place on the hills. Ukrainians destroyed a lot of Russian tanks and armored fighting vehicles prior to this attack, but as Ukrainians got deep into the region, they faced more armored vehicles. Russian sources reported that Ukrainians had already launched the next phase of the operation, namely storming Eurozane. Right now, Eurozane is in a salient and Russians have significant issues with providing supplies to the soldiers on the ground. Moreover, if we look at the topographic map, we can see that, like all other settlements along the river, Eurozane is located in the lowlands, while Ukrainians are holding positions on the hills around this settlement. Russian sources reported that Ukrainians attacked with several assault units reinforced with two armored fighting vehicles. Russian analysts concluded that the attacks will definitely intensify and Eurozane will fall within the next 48 hours. The fall of Eurozane will allow Ukrainians to push the front line a little south and get close to Kamenchik. Even though some analysts predicted that the next Ukrainian targets are Kamenchik and Novo Donetsk, it is highly unlikely that Ukrainians will devote a significant amount of forces to this offensive effort.